Alright. You want a tutorial on how to make pancakes? Mm -hmm. The right way? Alright. Well, we've got our flame going. What you want to do, I'm going to give you step by step what you want to do. Okay? So you always know. Get that flame on high. To start off, get everything hot. And do the same thing if it's a black iron skillet, stainless steel skillet. So, and once it all gets hot, then we'll, I'll show you how much oil you want to add. But you want to get it hot first. It's just a, it's a trick to it. All right. Put just a, about, about that much on there. All right. I'm going to spread it out. Spread it all over. You want to cover the hole and then the sides too. Alright. Each time you do pancake, you want to re-add more. And you want to each time be about that much. Well, I know what I do. What do you do? I get some of that. Um, that right there. You know that Miss Butterworth. Yeah. That's the best. Do you Have know that? Have ready? And go ahead, tell me. Do you know that um, butter stuff that you can buy that's in the spray can? That you spray Man, for? Yeah. yeah. That's what I use. Well, uh, I don't like the aftertaste of that stuff. Though. It's All right. <clears throat> now, um, to look about like that, consistency-wise, what I did, that is two cups of pancake mix with one and one-third cups of lukewarm water. It calls for cold water but I like to do lukewarm water because I think it mixes up better. They say cold water mixes up better, lukewarm water mixes up better for me. Works, I have to stick with what works. Alright, and you also want move over butter. Always move over butter. That's, and that's true. It is what it is. Alright, when this stuff starts fanning out real like it's water, mm -hmm. and you turn you take your heat and you turn it down to about like that. Okay, very important that heat, especially when you use an aluminum pan. All right. So what we're gonna do? We pour it in easing, easing, <laughs> easily, and even. Right. First one about about that much right there. Okay. You get these little corners like this. Make them up, make them happen. Right. <clears throat> now, you let that cook until it starts bubbling all through the center. You'll know when it's time. I'll show you. All right, we'll pause it for a second and come back. Like that? Yeah. What you want to do is you want to watch the edges. Make sure it's not getting too hot and brown. And you want to run the oil around it. This helps it not stick. Okay? Do that. All right, now check the spatula. Ease it underneath the pancake. See how it's all together? Flip her over. Okay. okay? Now, take our heat and put it down just a little, I mean, barely, barely adjust it. Okay? Each time, do it like that, and you'll have the same pancakes every time. What I like to do is I like to make a couple of them. A little small like this, and I like to make a couple of them a little bit small or larger. I like to gauge by these little cuts in the in the uh, pan. You know that's why I like using this one for pancakes. Um, you know, just if you want to get them precise. Um, this one ha has a little bit of ri ridges around the edges. I usually don't like. I usually make it a little bit more symmetrical, but it, it's it's good. It's a good pancake. All right, <clears throat> I'll make a larger one for the bottom and build my base up. Okay. Mm -hmm. open. All right, we'll take some of this, skim the top, put it in there like that. Put it down to it. When I focused it in, when I focused it on in on the TV, it was like perfect. Well, 
that is perfect. Alright, that's one. One down. Now we want to look how much oil we've used. It's not very much, so we add about half of what we just put down. Alright. Get it all circulated and hot. Get the heat, it won't take it long at all to get hot. It's already hot. You well, know, hot enough to want to. The temperature's right. You you don't want it to get down there too cold or it'll separate and your pancake will stick to the, the pan. Mm. It's a little slow right now. Just a second. Mm. And while you're doing that, can take just a little bit of butter and put it in between the pancakes, like so. That'll give it that extra. And I say butter, I meant this is butter worth syrup. What happens when you read the label as you're talking about it? <laughs> All right. What size you want? Bigger. Oh, bigger. Mm -hmm. All right. Make a bigger. The runnier you make this, the more it's going to do these edges. You can make it just a little bit thicker and it'll come out a little bit smoother. A little more round. It's just a little bit runnier than I normally make and I guess my measurements wasn't exact. But usually two cups to one and one third cup of water. I'll, I'll get it really close to where it comes out. I'm trying where to focus on the know, edges. Where it doesn't have those little edges. <clears throat> All right, we'll let that bubble up and do the same thing, and then there'll be another one. All right, you notice in the center it's still a little wet, mm -hmm. not quite ready to flip it. It'll be wet when you flip it, but you don't want it to run out. Yeah. All right, so now we're ready to flip it. It's a little bit right there, but I think we can do it without having a problem. Our butter. Put some mo on top. You want to call it some mo? Because every time you eat it, you always want some mo. Swirl that around a bit. Alright, that'll be good for now. Got all that good butter on there. We're going to add this one that you wanted a while ago right on top of it. Now, put our pan back over here to keep it hot. Now we'll give you some butter. <laughs> I did it again. Mrs. Butterworth, what are you doing? All right, some syrup. Or do you think you just need one more on top? You ain't gonna eat all that. I'm not. Mm -mm. I'll have to decide that one myself. Alright, it worked. How much you gonna eat? I'll make about the same you got. I don't think you're gonna eat all those. My box uh, says I would. You wanna make a full? We wanna make a big one? Yeah. Let's make a, a, huge a one. pan size one. A big, big, big one. Look at there. And then you have one small one. Yeah, put one small one on top. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's one way to get the edges round. Fill the pan up, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, push pause. We'll look at that in a minute. Tell me about it.
Well, now, that's not a... <laughs> that ain't a... Oh, what a great pancake. It's just like, oh, that damn pancake. What is... Is it good or not? Yeah, it's good. I know they're good, because I had some the other morning. Those things are the best. Oh, and that's also... We got to say what kind of pancake mix. That kind. That is the best ever. It's the same kind I've been using for years. Where? Where's it at? It's in the door. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see how I don't run at the top or anything like that? Mm-hmm. So we can flip it. Nice and loose. What you want to do is... And it ain't there. Got to be good now. How about that? Now, hey, butter. Daddy. Hey. Someday we need to try flipping it without using the spatula. Well, throw it up. <laughs> yeah, this pan ain't big enough for that. Not for that size. Um, pancake. When you go to throw it up, it'll catch on these ends. I've already tried that before. <laughs> I guess you can be really, 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 really good at it, and you might be able to pull it off once out of ten. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't do it on no TV show, that's for sure. Make yourself out to be a jackass. It'd be good for a laugh, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, like off of on Roseanne, like that father, the dad, and trying to cook pancakes and trying to flip them. Well, That'd remember. be something he would do. Oh. Oh, I've seen in the movie, it was so funny. This dude, he was trying to cook pancakes and he tried to flip it, flip it with the pan, and then it stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> That's funny. I forget right, what the this movie time was I'm bringing called. the, I'm bringing this over here. You know. Alright, well, look at there. Back up a little bit. <laughs> That'll take up your whole stomach. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, a little. I'm not gonna eat till tonight. <laughs> Salt, syrup. A little on syrup it. on it. Let that soak in. Probably got butter mixed with one. it. Mm, Sir. It's gonna be a little bitty one. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I probably ain't gonna finish all this. That and the coffee is gonna be. Oh, you want a little coffee, don't you? Mm -hmm. We can save one for Miss Haley. Well, Miss Haley's gonna be in her appointment for a while. Alright, well. She got two appointments to go to today, so she probably won't be back till this afternoon sometime. Okay, Amber. We'll around 3 o'clock or so. We'll be right back when it starts bubbling. Last one. One more thing of butter on it. Ooh, what's going on? What's going on? Two hundred pancakes and sausage and eggs for those kids one morning. I worked at UPT. We cooked for a school. I cooked them on a griddle. And I cooked a lot that morning. You ever want to make some real good pancakes? Take that same butter and put it on the, the bottom of your pan. Put that butter on the bottom of your pan. Mm -hmm. and use it to cook it with. And, and use like twice as much. Oh my goodness, that is some good pancakes. Real good butter pancakes. And we'll s s s see you later, folks. Now, <clears throat> stand clean for tomorrow morning pancakes. Clean it at the right temperature, it comes out sparkly clean. And all the germs are killed and everything. Yeah, some more 
Sarah. Put a little smiley face on it. That's what I did. I had a whole bunch of a piece of bacon and, and a pancake. Uh -huh. And I put I broke off two pieces of pancake, made some eyebrows, and then I made a mouth. Does it have one yeah. um, bacon that looked like mm -hmm. a mouth? That's good. Yeah, that's fluffy. I have one bacon that looked like a mouth, so that so I put it at the mouth, and I didn't have a nose for it. Right, but the eggs were the eyes. Getting our coffee now. Oh. <laughs> On it. Yes. I got unimate yeah, cup. Coffee creamer. This is caramel macchiato. I like this. I like hazelnut. I like creme brulee. Um, that's my favorite ones. I like uh, southern uh, butternut pecan also. Those those are the those are the best. And sometimes if you combine them, it's even better. You know what? We got a little bit of coffee left in this thing. Keep it on. Alright, stir that up and then enjoy. And we'll see you later. <laughs>